What happened to the Jordan 2? Ones, threes, fours, and fives are all among the most popular Jordan silhouettes, but the Jordan 2 has never really caught on. Why? To find our answer, we have to look all the way back to 1986 when the Jordan 2 first debuted at a shocking triple digit price point. Every pair was made in Italy. They were essentially designed to be a designer basketball sneaker, which was, of course, groundbreaking at the time. Air Jordan. It's all in the imagination. I mean, what old basketball sneaker had iguana textured Italian leather? But not only was the Jordan 2 groundbreaking with its materials, it was also the first Nike basketball sneaker without the Nike swoosh on the upper. So when the pair first came out, it was well received by basketball players and sneakerheads alike. But when Nike decided to retro the pair in 1995 in celebration of Jordan's 10th year with Nike, the demand for the shoe seemingly disappeared. Not only did the shoe fail to sell out, they ended up hitting discount stores for as low as $20. And for the next couple decades, this lack of demand continued. Even with high-end collaborations with Just Dawn and Eminem, the shoe just didn't really catch on. That is, until 2021, where we saw the off-white Jordan 2 collaboration. And then in 2022, collaborations with Union, Amal Meniere, and J Balvin. And with each collaboration, the hype continued to build. But can it continue on a normal, non-collaboration release? That is a question that is to be answered by the release of the Air Jordan 2 Chicago, dropping on December 30th, 2022. One of the originals in a classic black, white, and red colorway. If any non-collab Jordan 2 is gonna bring back the hype and nostalgia for the silhouette, it's these. But realistically, this pair alone will not be enough to help the Jordan 2 climb the sneaker ranks. It's going to take consistent releases, new colorways, retros, and even more collaborations for the Jordan 2 to actually break into the scene. And that is exactly what Nike is planning to do. In recent years, Nike has elected to release just one colorway of the Jordan 2 per year. They didn't believe in the silhouette, and to be honest, neither did we. But if you look at 2022, and then also the releases planned for 2023, it's clear that Nike is making a push. A push to establish the Jordan 2 once again as a designer basketball sneaker in a time where designer and streetwear have started to become synonymous. A push to give the second Air Jordan silhouette a second life. Meet a couple of guys who spend a lot of their time in midair. And so this Jordan 2 is not merely a retro of an OG colorway. It's a pivotal moment for the silhouette, for the brand, for the sneaker game as a whole. If the Jordan 2 does in fact take off in 2023, we'll look back to this release as a turning point, and we'll see prices reflect that. But if the demand for the Jordan 2 remains where it is today, despite Nike's efforts, we'll see this release fade into the background as yet another forgotten classic. For me, I'll be staying away from investing into this shoe. I'd rather put my money into safer colorways and safer silhouettes for the time being. However, this will be something to keep an eye on over this next year. The wave for dunks is starting to fall off, and the demand for Jordan 4s will inevitably start to die down as well, so there'll be space at the top for a new silhouette to take the throne. Thank you.